What's up everybody, this is Kittlester. I'm back with a video regarding natural hair and how to take care of it, how to trim it, and how to go about making sure that your ends keep very, very um, healthy and all of the above. No, people, listen. Stop the crap regarding not trimming your hair because I did not want to trim my hair and I ended up had to do it because one, the ends are the oldest part of your hair and it gets really, really dry. If you have 4A, 4B, 4C, 4D, 4E, how far it goes, you can tell your hair gets very, very dry at the ends because they're the oldest part. Sorry if you hear a dog in the background. This is Jamaica and we have dogs everywhere. Anyways. This is what I did. This is the amount of hair I took from my head at the ends because what I noticed was I could treat my hair, I could deep condition it, I can treat it, I can shampoo, condition, I use the best products in my hair but the ends were still dry. You listening? Very, very dry. I could wet my hair soaking wet even when I condition my hair or or um, deep condition my hair with the products that I use this part of my hair this whole section leaving the ends were super moisturized the ends were too don't get me wrong but you still feel a coarse texture at the ends of your hair of my hair sorry and I could not get to the fact, get to the point where I got to the point where I was shit. I can't talk. I I got to the point where I was like, hmm. I think I'm doing something wrong. But no, I'm not. The ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair, and it will take more products to keep it at that um the level of not breaking than usual, than any part of your hair. But mine was thinning. Natural hair is the same pros and cons like perm hair, curly hair, or natural hair. It don't matter. You still have pros and cons regard regarding these type of hairs. You still have to steam, treat, deep condition, all of the above, um, dry, twist it, uh, just to keep your hair, um, just to care for your hair, basically. Okay? So, all this hair that I clipped from my hair in, is super dry and rough very very rough but the rest of my hair is not now if you have been following my channel you know that I've been natural for about a year and some months now I don't know exactly how long but I will link the first video of the big chop down below in the description bar so you can see it I use this scissors if you have one of these, it will do good. I'm not a professional. I'm not certified. I know how to care for my natural hair. I don't have to go to a hairdresser for them to tell me because sometimes you do go to the hairdresser and they up your hair more than you would. Okay? So get it together. But I use this for my hair to clip the ends. My hair was cornrow into about six and I did not put any oil in it after I curled my hair. Really though? That noise? Anyway. Oh, every time you're filming that's the time you hear noise when you're not you hear nothing anyways so anyway I my hair was I part my hair like this and gave it some big cornrows backwards and um, I noticed when I lose the cornrows out the from the root to the ends had a different it, it looked really different the root to the end to part of the end like up to the tip of it was so thick you could hardly see through my hair but the end was so the ends of my hair was so thin it was really thin it's not thin as in bad thin but you could tell that it was thinning and I'm like oh no this is not good this is not good and I realized that hey that's the part of my hair that was very trashy and dry and no matter how many oils or whatever I put in it it was still dry it's not it's just it was the worst so I decided to clip it so that's why I just get my scissors and cut that off okay now people 
you have to cut your hair or trim your hair that's the only way it's going to stay healthy whether your hair cream and all of that as i said to you before but these are some of the things i have been using to you know keep my hair healthy as how it is what it wasn't 100 percent healthy because yes of course my hair was thinning but that does not mean the rest of my hair is not healthy because at the end of the day the parts that the, these parts that i cut off was the part that was the oldest part of my hair because i had perm on it and i let it grow out for a little bit and I, then i cut off most of the perm and had a little bit left on there but the ends were still trashy because the, as the perm ends were falling off the old part of my hair was this this dry part so what i did was this brush my hair up <coughs> with a brush like this whether it's a bristle brush you call it yes or no and I catch my hair like so and then I use my scissors to clip 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 that's what I did and I, and I was very careful I did not cut unnecessary hair and then cry after and I won't cry for some hair because that's ridiculous it's growing from my head and I'm taking care of it so it will grow I'm not gonna cry over some hair really that's ridiculous so as I'm saying water your hair needs a lot of water take care of your hair moisturize it make sure that it's wet it loves water and if if you have natural hair you know that natural hair loves water get water to your hair get a spray bottle like so spray it every day and then you put your moisturizer locking the moisture or whatever you want to do but get yourself a spray bottle for my roots for my scalp for my dandruff i don't have much dandruff but i have dry scalp a little bit i use my sulfur eight this thing does wonders i have always been using it i have shown it in a video before on my channel and i also will link the description link it in the description bar below of that product and i also had the shampoo for it very good product it's a minty feeling on it on your hair and um yeah I use this all the time it's a medicated original formula anti-dandruff hair and scalp conditioner yeah the next thing that I used was my Palmer's cocoa butter Palmer's cocoa oil formula you all know this as well I have showed you guys in the video I did before it's it's not done yet but it's going there and I've been using it for a while and it does smell like coconut FYI if you guys don't um, like coconut then you won't like this because it smells like coconut and it's uh, it has vitamin E in their shining hairdress moisture grow nothing special it's it says it strengthens and protects from damage smooths hair and helps prevent breakage gives hair a glossy sheen so yeah just like any other oil the other one that I love to use is a soft sheen Carson optimum oil therapy so this is my boss you understand this is one of my boss I've been using this for a very long time even when my hair was firm I used to use this in my hair and it's a three-in-one cream moisture oil moisturizer it, it's it restores essential essential oils prevents breakage protects against heat and it is with no greasy buildup so yeah sometimes when I don't want to use the palmas I use this twice or one time for the week okay so yeah that's what I use and for steaming my hair y'all know I have my Jamaican black castor oil on the body bam in your face <laughs> but I bought this from a lady from Kingston I don't go in the stores anymore to purchase the Jamaican black castor oil because I found out that people have been using salt to stretch their castor oil salt salt which is sulfate i think i think i'm right something like that i don't know whatever but salt makes your hair break it damages your hair a lot and my cousin who lives in kingston told me to be careful because these companies some of them use salt in the the black castor oil to stretch it and i don't want that to damage my hair okay so i get the natural thing y'all know how this smell is smells same Ugh. Ugh. smells like burnt donuts or something but this is just a jamaican rum bottle jb if you know john kabati you know this <laughs> but this is what i purchased from the old lady also i used to use a tresemme 
guys i found out why this thing was not working for me 100 percent you know but i just still wanted to use it but this is the the luxurious moisture and the hat the curl hydration this is the advanced technology the new advanced technology one which is the i think it's the curl the curling line the flawless curl line yep this is not the natural one this is not for the natural hair people i found out that they had a natural one looking exactly like this but i took this one up which is wrong but if you have curl hair you can try this out it's um it's not all that the condition isn't all that it's not all that moisturizing the shampoo gives a good lather it's very um yeah a lot of a lot of wash a lot of bubbles a lot of everything the shampoo gives the condition not so much so yeah if you want to try it you can try it but i use it just the same because it's been helping with my hair from day one it's my day one boy so hey but yo my kind to shea butter line yeah condition almost done shampoo still up there because remember i remember i told you guys that the, sh the shampoo it's everything you don't need a lot to have your hair real sunny it's like a bubble bath in my head so yo seriously the shampoo is the bomb okay it's for it's a it's the new cantu shea butter for natural hair it don't have no sulfate in there and everything else is just awesome it gently removes heavy buildup leaves hair healthy and clean safe for natural and colored hair made with 100 percent pure shea butter so yo the line here turn up till a buck love it um the conditioner Jesus, I have to buy another one because this one is almost done. I love this thing, honey. Yes, I do. I can't do without it. Yo, smells good. But anyway, that's all that I have to say for now. Stop being such a, a fussy person, not wanting to clip your hair ends because it's necessary. I used to say I'm not going to do that to mine. But now I know I need to do it so go do that take care of yourself take care of your hair big up yourself one love and i hope to see you soon okay bye bye